All right, guys, so we have our add post form. Now we need to add function to this. So it's getting submitted to slash posts as a post request. So we need to catch this in our route. So let's go to start routes.js and we'll go down here and we'll say route dot post because it's going to be a post request and it's going to be to slash posts and then we want to link this to the post controller dot create method which we haven't created yet so let's save that actually you know what let's call this store I think that's a better convention so we're storing the post all right now let's go to the controller and we'll go right under, under the add method and we'll say async store and let's see what we're going to do here so this is going to take in a couple things okay we want request and response and then we also want session all right we're going to be using flash messages so that when we submit a post we, after we redirect we want a message that says post submitted or something like that all right we're also going to be using validation um, using a validator provider but I'm going to get to that after so once this is submitted let's say const post equals new post like that okay so we're creating a new post instance and then let's say post dot title equals and the way that we get the form values is using that request object which has an input method and we can get the title. Okay, we also want to get the body and add that to the post. So request dot input body. All right, then we just want to save it. Now we need to use await here. So we're going to say await post dot save. Okay, now we want to set a flash message. So to do that, we use session dot flash. And then in here we pass in an object and we say notification. And then whatever we want to say, I'm going to say post added. Okay, and then we just need to return response dot redirect and wherever we want to go, which is going to be the posts page. All right. Now, setting the flash message is one thing, but we need we also need to output it. So since we're going to the post index page, let's go to that view, which is post index dot edge. And we're going to go right below the title. And the syntax for this is going to be an if statement. So we want to do at if. And in here we want to say old. That's the method we want to run and then notification. OK, and then we want to end if. And inside here we're going to put a div uh, with a class of alert and a class of alert danger, OK, which are bootstrap classes. And then we just want to put double curly braces old notification like that all right so let's try this it should actually add a post so we'll reload let's say post three this is post three and submit and there we go post added oops I I put alert danger I should have this needs to be alert success so it's green. OK, so uh, one thing that I want to do now is add some validation because right now I can submit nothing. OK, so to do this, we need to install the validator provider. So we're going to go down here and say npm install at Adonis JS slash validator. OK, this isn't included by default. Now, when we add a provider, we need to register it and we do that in the start and then app.js file. 
So I'm, what I'm going to do is put a comma here. And let's just copy this down and change this to validator provider. Okay, so now we can use it. So we'll close this up. Let's go back to our controller and we need to bring in that validator. So up at the top here, we're going to say const validate equals. Actually, we need to use destructuring, so we need to add curly braces around that and then we'll set that to use validator. Oh, I put some semicolons in here. I knew that was going to happen. All right. So now we brought in that validator provider. So now we want to use it. So down in the store method, we're going to go to the very top before we do anything with the database and we need to add our validation. So we'll say const validation. Set that to await validate. And we want to pass in request dot all. And after that request dot all method, we want to put a comma and then open up some curly braces and put in our fields. So title and then the rules we want. So I'm going to say required and then we can separate rules with pipes. I'm going to say minimum of three characters, another pipe and a maximum of 255 characters. All right. And then for the body, I'm just going to say required and min three. All right. Just like that. So that defines our rules. Now we need to check to see if that fails. So we're going to say if validation dot fails. OK, if validation fails, then we want to session dot with errors and then pass in here validation dot messages. And then we want to dot flash all. All right. So each each field will have its own little flash message. OK, then we just want to return. We want to reload the same page. So response dot redirect and back. OK, which will just reload the same page, the form. So that looks good. Let's go ahead and save that. Now, if we were to go over here and try to. Oh, uh, what happened? Let's see what happened. Cannot find provider. Hmm, it should. Did I not save it? Uh, let's see. Let's go back to start app JS. Oh. I have auth providers here. This should actually be validator. All right, save that. That should fix it. Good. So now if I try to submit without entering any any data, it's not letting me. But the messages are not showing. So we need to go back to add edge and we need to add some stuff here. OK, and some of this looks a little weird, but it's just what we have to do. So first of all, we need to put a value. So value for title uh, and this is going to be. Double curly braces and then again, we want that old method. Pass in the name of the field, which is title and then an empty string. So what this will do is if there are errors and we have something in here, it'll make the con it'll make the text stay in there. All right. Now we want to do the same for the body. So I'm going to copy the, the curly braces and put it inside here and then just change that to body. All right. Now to show the actual errors, we're going to go to this first title input, go right underneath it. And we're going to use this L if syntax. All right. So we need E L uppercase I F. OK. And then in here 
we're going to put in whatever we want to display the error. So I'm going to use a span with the class of text dash danger. Okay, that'll make the that'll make the um, text red. Span and inside the span we want money sign self. All right, now we want to go to the end here and put in another parameter, which is going to be get error four. So get error four, and then we'll pass in the name of the field, which is title. All right, then we want to pass in another parameter of has error four. So has error four, and pass in title. Okay, and that'll display the error. Now we want to do the same thing for the body, so I'm going to copy this, go right under the text area, paste that in, and just change these two to body. So now, let's go ahead and reload, and let's try to submit. We get required validation failed on title. If I put something in there and submit, required validation on body. And notice that the, this stays in there. That's because of this value we put here. So let's go ahead and add another post. We'll say post four. This is post four. Submit. And there we go. So now we have a little bit of form validation. All right. So in the next video, we're going to get to update these posts. We want to add a we want an edit button where we can click edit, go to a form, update it. And then we also want to add a delete button so that we can delete posts.